right guys welcome back to another video it's been quite some time since i've made one but i'm back at it again and today we're doing a review on my car what i've all done so far because i haven't made a video or anything about my car for a few months now it's been a very hectic year for me but we will get started with it we'll start on the exterior first all right on the exterior i mounted my lights i'm just joking but don't look at that uh, yeah so the first thing i did was i picked up these wheels the str and dr 20s i believe off one of my friend's buddies for 200 bucks and they're wrapped in a, i think they're 205 50 15 so 15 inch rims so i believe it's a 205 let me see 205, 205, 50, 15. So that's what's wrapped in the front for better traction because you know front wheel drive life. In the back, I got some name off brand and tires, and they're just 195, 50. Yeah, so these are the, they need some love. I want to make a cleaning video on pretty much reviving them back to life. Because if you get really close, you can see all from a distance. It looks good, but if you get really close, it doesn't look very good. So we got those, this one's, I, I'm gonna sand them and paint them and everything, but for now, they're good how they are, I like them. Then we got these bad boys, you know, the special, zip tie special. Yeah, it's cause actual bands they come with from eBay. Crappy. So yeah, those are the wheels. Nothing really done too much on the exterior, as you can see. Oh, I got window tint, that's, that's about it. Then we get to the back. I got the keep gun and air diffusers installed. Yes, uh, I think it was like two days ago. So there, yeah, those are pretty sick. I like them. I like how it looks on the back of the car. It's very nice. I got that sticker. I got my favorite sticker on here. So yeah, that's pretty much just what's all done on the exterior. I try to keep it super actually wet. Yeah, this counts for my exhaust system. Let's go back here. I mean, got an exhaust, obviously. Oh yeah, I cut my bumper also. It kind of looks like shit, but I mean, it's whatever. It is what it is. For my exhaust system, it's up here. This is my exhaust setup right now. I got a bump, nice bumper exit exhaust. Sounds very good, I like it. But yeah, so let's jump underneath the hood because that's where it all happens. So underneath the hood, this is what we got. Got an Emusa eBay Turbo Kit. Picked that up for 850, I believe, shipped to my door. So we got the Emusa wastegate. Got the Emusa, it's just a full Emusa Turbo Kit. And then there's my inner core. Yeah, don't make fun of my zip ties. I know it looks like shit. It's just temporary because this is still the same motor I had in before, D16Y5. It is on eight pounds, eight and a half pounds of boost, but people don't like when you be specific, but it's eight and a half. Has a boost. It is on stock motor, stock everything. It has 850 cc injectors or 800 cc injectors. I'm not remember. Remember, I got those from Hunter Tuned LSD capped. I can run E85 in those. I just don't have a flex fuel kit, so I'm not gonna do that. Hopefully, hopefully my next motor, I will do that. But so yeah, and then I got a PLM four bar map sensor. I got the injectors, I got a 255 Wilbur fuel pump in this thing, and it's on eight and a half pounds, safe tuned, so it should be hopefully fine. Here's the turbo, it's a bottom mount turbo, the cast manifold obviously, don't make sure my wrapping job, it works, this little feed line, I had one before, and it was touching, and started, it burned a hole in it, and hot oil and hot surface is not mixed, so I did not like that. There is my bumper exit right there. You can barely see it. Let me turn my flashlight on. Yeah, so there is the bumper exit. Obviously, intercooler piping, turbo. You can see, get a better look at it. I made this homemade turbo net myself. I like it. It's from a window screen. It works. That's all that matters. Stock radiator, stock radiator fan. I'm going to be getting a better radiator soon, but so yeah, that's the bumper exit. That one looks a lot better, how we wrapped it. And yeah, that's all that's really done to it. There's nothing, it's nothing too crazy to be honest. It's just an eBay turbo kit on eight and a half pounds, nine pounds, eight pounds, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really bug me. I don't really care. I just usually say eight pounds, nine pounds. It's all the same thing to be honest. Like 
whatever. Pick and choose what number I want. This is just a temporary. I want to get this. I want to get this welded. I want to get it going down, and then shoot, and then probably like like something like this. And shoot back behind the block under the oil pan. So that's for now. I was wearing open wastegate for the longest time. That's why it's so dirty in here. It's so gross. My headlights are disgusting. Yeah, not a pretty image in here. But that's fine. I'm just doing it. Yeah, everything's stock on this motor. Stock head, stock block, stock everything besides the injectors and the fuel pump. But in this area, completely stock. So, let's get into the interior and let's see what's up. This is, before I go, this is also the D16Y5, like I said. It, it comes in the HXs and everybody knows it's the Eco Motor. Paired with the Y8 Trans, that's how I bought it. That's how it's staying for now. So yeah, VTEC E. It still feels like normal VTEC. It's... It's the same thing when, it's just, when, when you're tuned. Feels good. Or in base map. And then we got the Y8 Trans because it's a tuner. He said it was YX. He looked at the back. And yeah. So let's go check out the inside. So, guys, we're on the inside of my vehicle. This used to be my fan switch. It's not connected to anything because I had ha the tuner set it. So when it hits 180 degrees, it uh, turns on. Here's my energy quick release. This is the Gen 2. So, yes, this is the thing. It's so fancy. My wheel's inside. And then I have the VMS short door shifter with some off-brand eBay shift shift ball or yeah ball. I like it. I like the height. I kind of want to make it go down more, but it's kind of a perfect height, so I might just keep it how it is. And then I got my fire extinguisher right here, cause, you know, taking risks. And yeah, there's not too much going on in here. And then here's my gauge setup. My boost gauge is my A. This is glow shift, by the way. These two are both glow shift. These two, and then this one's that. AM air fuel ratio. So this is my boost gauge, this is my air fuel, and this is my oil pressure gauge. It's a little pod set up. I had to rig it up because I didn't really want the pillar. Because everybody does the pillar and all like stuff in my way, but this is like perfect setup for me. So yeah, I got this on eBay. I also got these from a third party seller on eBay, and then I got this one from a third party seller on eBay. So yeah, nothing too fancy, just a common three pod setup, which is pretty nice. I like it. And then let's look at my back of my car. As you guys remember, I used to have harnesses and bucket seats in here. I sold the bucket seats and now I got these EG seats. I like how they feel, they feel a lot better. Sold the bucket seats because they hurt my back and they, I didn't really like them. It wasn't my style, I guess. I just wanted them for a bit. But here's my back, full, pretty much fully gutted. There's no seats, no nothing back here. I also sold the harness bar that the car came with. So yeah, that is the back of the car. Nothing too fancy. So guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. My car hasn't been too much changed. It, it's just been tuned, it has turbo kit, stuff like that, but it's just eBay, stock motor, stock everything. Anything pretty much came in this car, I didn't really touch too much. Uh, I don't really want to deal with this motor. It's just my fun motor. I want to have fun with it, and it's on a safe tune, and it's pretty fun. But yeah, I haven't done too much to the interior, nothing too special yet. Sorry, let me fix something. Nothing too special with the car yet. Come, I like it clean and simple on the outside. I don't want, I don't like too flashy. Clean and simple is my way to go. Just some wheels, some nice Neato gens or Neato or Neo, whatever the fuck you want to call them. In the front, some Walmart bullshit in the back because it doesn't really matter. Front wheel drive. But yeah, I do want to get a traction bar. I do want to get new headlights. There's a lot of stuff I still want to do slowly, but I'm trying to save my money right now. But once. Those, I'm just I'm gonna start posting more videos. I want to get back into YouTube. I haven't been doing YouTube for a while, and I miss recording. I miss just showing off stuff. So if you guys haven't followed my TikTok or Instagram, it will be on the screen for you guys. Quick little video of me just showing it off what my car has been, what I've been doing, what my car has been, and what's been all been done to it. There's still way more to come for this car, but for now, how the motor sits is how it is for now. But it's fun. I enjoy it. It's a fun car. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in next week's one.